Hey guys, my NAS has died. Well, a uh, few days ago it's uh, just disconnected from my network and I was unable to uh, do anything about it. So I take it from my uh, rack and uh, decided to take a look at it. Um, unfortunately it was not looking good. Uh, I rule out the power problems, but uh, Still, the NAS was not powering up. As uh, you can see, when I press the button, it's just trying to power up, but all the uh, AGD LEDs are orange and the power LED is just blinking, trying to boot up the system, but it's not working. So, uh, I looked on the internet, what's going on with that, uh, and it tur turned out that uh, it's a very common problem uh, with uh, devices like this. Uh, back in, I don't know, 2015 or 14, when the uh, Intel produced the, uh, their uh, Atom uh, line of microprocessors, there was uh, some kind of bad uh, design choices made. Um, so those processors are not very reliable. And uh, going uh, to degrade and uh, stop working eventually. So uh, I found a lot of information in the, over the internet. I will link uh, the uh, sources below this video. Uh, a lot of people, not very satisfied for customers <laughs> of the Synology and other brands producing uh, similar devices. Uh, we're discussing how to deal with this problem because usually you know, the problem started to arise after the warranty period. It's like in my situation, uh, I'm using this NAS for three and a half years and uh, the warranty is two years in the area where I live. Uh, so uh, I tried to contact Synology but the only suggestion they made is to buy a new NAS. <laughs> of course, I will try to uh, I will buy a new NAS, but um, first I need to recover all my data and uh, everything I got on the, in this box. Uh, I have backup in the cloud of my essential data, but uh, it's not all of it. So I'd like to get all the data from this NAS. Uh, how to do it? Uh, there are several solutions, but uh, the easiest one is to do some soldering. Uh, there is a solution provided on the Synology forum. Uh, all you need to do is just to disassemble this unit and uh, take out the motherboard and uh, uh, solder a 100 ohm resistor to the motherboard. For some reason, it works, and some people reporting that uh, their NASes are back to life and working fine. Uh, though it's unclear for how long time it uh, will continue and the NASes will uh, work. But anyway, I'll try to do it and uh, we will see what's going on. So this is a motherboard. Uh, now we need to find the specific pins 
where we need to connect to the 100, resist 100 ohm resistor and it's somewhere over here as I can see it and this is what we need those holes in the PCB it's uh, the connectors uh, we're looking for so this is the first pin the second third fourth fifth and sixth so we need to connect the first one and the sixth one let's do it and uh, this is how the 100 ohm resistor looks like so we will need to put it right over there let's try to do this so the first one and the sixth one and you have a mark for the first pin so it won't be very difficult for you to find it here we go um, And now we need to solder it. Tank. So the resistor and soldering is done, now we need to replace the battery and uh, to replace the heat sink. We need to uh, take out those pins to remove the heat sink, to put the new thermal paste and to put the heat sink then back on. Well, it took some time to remove the old thermal paste, but as you can see, I have managed to do this. Now we need to apply a new one. And to put the heating back. Perfect. So I think we're almost done. Now to we need to reassemble the unit.
finally the moment of truth. Let's see what's going to happen. And I think it's booting up. Well, it's always good to see the results of your work. So the main take from this video, I am not professional or uh, specialist in uh, soldering or electronics. I'm just a regular home user. So as you can see, you can read the uh, forums on the internet and find the solutions of very complex and different difficult problems. You don't need a lot of resources to uh, solve this problem and uh, unexpected situations. But anyway, I will uh, uh, see how it will perform. And uh, the main problem here is that I am not sure and I have no idea how long uh, this solution will work. work. Uh, so either way I will uh, buy new NAS. I will, was using a Synology solutions for about 8 years now. So I think it's time to change the brand. So guys, if you have any questions, please post it below. And I hope this video will help someone to fix the similar problem. Thank you, bye.